So in this country, it's very common for people to use glorious language to describe people of the previous generation who fought for the country's freedom against all odds, risking their lives. They fought and the nation became free. When we talk about freedom fighters, we always speak in glorious terms. But what are we going to do as a generation? This is a question mark because we are still alive. Now we have come with a challenge, an invisible enemy, an adversary that you cannot see, where after a few days you start arguing with yourself. I don't think it is there, this is all a conspiracy, somebody is making money, this will happen, that will happen, you know, already it's starting. Two days, they want to scratch themselves, <laughs> they're not able to be within their homes, so they're beginning to spill their beans of madness. So they got army on the standby. I hope they don't have to walk the streets. I hope the police force will be able to manage what they need to manage. Above all, I hope we as citizens will manage this ourselves without any force. Why I'm saying this is how the next generation will look at us could be determined by this one segment of time, the corona time. Whether we sail through this successfully or we drove ourselves into a disaster. The estimates that world bodies are making as to what can happen if it goes out of control are too horrible even to discuss. What we know now, that a new virus would emerge that would bring many parts of society to a standstill. Particularly, the World Health Organization is placing this responsibility in India's hands. Till now, we have dealt with it exceptionally well, actually. India has tremendous capacities. But from here on, it is in the hands of the citizens. Administration is doing whatever it is doing, making financial packages, fiscal changes, but still without the cooperation of every human being who lives here, this will not work. As days go by, people could drive themselves into frustration. People could start understanding what a mess they are and they can't deal with that. When challenging time confront us, that is when who we are matters really. When everything is well, everybody is fantastic. When we say who we are, the fundamental question is just this. Are we that kind of people who are always a part of the solution or are we a part of the problem? This is all we have to decide. I have decided. I want all of you, wherever you are, in whichever part of the country or in the world, I want all of you to take this one stance right now in these next few weeks, which are really challenging times for humanity, particularly India, that you shall be part of the solution, not part of the problem. This commitment everybody must take, this is very, very important.